welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're gonna recreate this eye look uh, that I consider being a very festive eye look for uh, this upcoming holiday so if you're interested to see how I came up with this trust me there's a lot to see <laughs> then keep on watching so for this look, I have used this one. This is Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. It is a new palette in my collection. I never tried it until today. And I did do a different uh, look. I tried to do a different look, um, but it kind of failed. It was a disaster. So I had to clean that up and then I went in with this eye look, which I do prefer better. So we're gonna go with a Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. I have not put anything else on, the, on my eyelid. This is the only thing I did. So uh, it's a little more weirder for me because usually I go in with concealer and I go in with foundation but today I just wanted to do it a little bit more uh, simplified and just do this first and then if I feel like I need more coverage or something like that I can definitely go in with uh, something else after we're done which I think I may do but for now, we'll keep it right there. And then we're gonna go with Earth right here. And we're just gonna put this one all over the lid. We're not gonna go all the way up with it, but we're just gonna go all over the lid. So we can call this our base. And then uh, this look is very mm, simple, doesn't take that long to create, so that's a good thing. And then we're going to go with this dark brown shade, and we're just going to get a little bit because this one is very pigmented, and we don't want all that darkness on our eyes, so we're just going to stomp it a little bit here and there. And we're just going to get a little bit more. just kind of blend it just a little bit right there I'm looking down because I have my mirror here so I need to see and then now that we're here we're gonna get this cosmic I believe it's the name of the shade and we're gonna get it with a brush so you have to dig into this one a little bit because it's going to be harder to show up on your eyelid. So what we're going to do, we're just going to apply this all over the eyelid on top of that brow. And if you feel like it, this that doesn't look quite right the way it looks, you can definitely get your finger and just kind of press a little bit on it. And that way it's going to make it better. It's going to make it blend and look better on top of that brow. There you go. Now from here, this is the tricky part. We're going to create... It's kind of like a sunset type of thing in the middle. So we're gonna go in with this color. We're gonna go and just apply that right in the middle. Just like press it, tap it like that. And I just, there you go. Right there. And now we're just gonna go in, we're gonna clean this brush because we're gonna utilize the same brush. We're gonna just clean this brush. I usually just you can either do it on a towel or paper towel, or you can do one of these uh, shadow switch things, which I found it at TJ Maxx. Oh my god, what I, I think I paid only three dollars or something like that on it. 
All right, so now we're gonna take the letter shape right here. And we're just gonna put them right in the middle. Just, you see how I'm keeping the brush, I'm not keeping it flat, I'm just keeping it this way so I can just distribute that color the way I want it. So you can add a little bit more if you feel like it's not showing up. Alright, there we go. So now we can definitely go in with a uh, eyeliner. So I use this one from Physicians Formula. And I'm just gonna go. I like this one because it has a very, very uh, thin uh, brush, so I can create a thin eyeliner look. So I'm gonna go in with uh, Ulta Beauty Pearless Primer. foundation we're gonna use Huda Beauty and this is in Latte 300N even recording this but what I did do I did apply a little bit of this um, eyeshadow right here under the eyes and because I was not liking it the vibe was giving me I went and um, pat my graft and I did applied this eyeshadow right here that I think it's called Thinful and I put that one under the eyes on top of that and also I added just a little bit more on the top because it gives it a little bit more sparkle to it right it has a little bit more power to it and I really really love these little uh, minis from uh, Pat McGrath and honestly I think they're better than uh, Natasha Denona in my opinion I know they're charging quite the same price range but they're not quite same just saying, yeah. not quite the same um i'm definitely noticing that i need to add just a little bit more of this brown right here Jacobs. I don't know if I want to put eyelashes, but um, I guess I'll take that decision when my makeup is done. But for now, I'm not only gonna go with this uh, mascara, which I love. Alright, so I went off camera. I did finish up my face. Um, unfortunately, when my camera cut off, you weren't able to see what I put on my face under the eyes. So I'm gonna quickly show you all the stuff that I did use. 
So for concealer, I use this one from Benefit Cakeless. Uh, concealer right here that I have in number five. And I set my under eyes with this uh, powder, which is um, Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder, which I absolutely love to set under my eyes with. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, powder from uh, Hourglass. I have not set uh, the rest of my face because with the uh, Huda Beauty foundation, you don't need to do that. And then I went in with this bronzer, which is uh, from the balm, it's called Bahama Mama which I absolutely love as well. Very, very beautiful shade. And then I decided to go with this Hourglass Ambient Diffuse Heat uh, Blush. Really pretty. And then uh, for lips, I decided to go with Wayne Goss, and this one is in Orchid. Now, let's do one more, a few more things so we can end up this video real nice. I'm gonna go in this uh, eyeshadow palette, which is third uh, Clay Play Must Have Eye and Cheek eyeshadow palette, and I'm gonna get this color right here that is called Instinct. And I'm gonna do that on top of my eyelid, right before, right under the brow bone, because I feel like something is missing over there. And I'm gonna bring it all the way in the in the corner, but just the the top part. And then just because we want a little sparkle right under the brow bone. I am gonna go with this highlighter that they have in here that is called Timber. And just kind of right there. I'm just gonna adjust a little bit and then blend it. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm gonna go with this one from Essence. This one is a uh, long lasting uh, eye pencil in black really enjoy this one actually so I'm gonna add it in the waterline for more of a dramatic look there we go and I don't know if I did say this but for highlighter I use Fenty Beauty all right let me show you close what this eye look look like so what do you guys think do you think you would like to wear this for Christmas I really 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 like it I have to say though if it wasn't for Pat McGrath to save the day this would not be a really fun exciting look in my opinion <laughs> but yeah this is how it looks like let me know down below if you like it let me know down below if it's festive enough for you and um don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did i'll see you all i will see you all next time with another video bye